So usually on the market channel, we mainly focus on people who are probably some of the worst people on the internet. Now, although we're going to have our fair share of some bad people on the internet in today's video, we also have a good share of some good people, which is a bit different for this channel. Because even though this situation is sad and it is just another example of something that a lot of people are doing on the internet nowadays, of just insulting people for no reason and filming them in public, but we also have a good side to this, and it's the people sticking up for the person who didn't want to be on camera, and yeah, this will all make sense in just a second. But before we do get any further, I am quite literally less than a thousand subscribers away from 400,000, which means we could be hitting it in the next day, too. I don't know how long it's going to be, but we're getting very close. So if you do want to help out, it literally is the final push right now. So if you could subscribe, that'd be great. So there's a fitness influencer, if you want to call him that, who was very big over on Instagram, especially called Joey Swole. He has 2.6 million followers. He's someone that I've seen a lot of videos from. He basically calls out other people who are doing stuff that's a bit dodgy in the gym, like filming people who have bad form, just like taking the piss out of them. He stands up for them people. I mean, just to give you an example of the type of video he does, here is his most recent one. You trying to flex for pictures? at Planet Fitness. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, some despicable human beings, right? They're, like, posing in front of a mirror, which is fair enough, feeling yourself posing, and then someone is getting changed in a changing room. And instead of putting the camera down and deleting the footage, they decided to basically laugh at it and post it publicly, and they don't even center it themselves. Joey Swole had to. So they are literally just, like, releasing images of someone getting changed without their permission, which is very illegal. You know, I can't believe videos like this even exist today. And to think I've covered so many of these over the past couple of years, as if people don't know better, which they do, and these two young men are going to learn today. And to think this wasn't by accident. You actually angled your phone at that man, pretending as if you're flexing, trying to record yourselves, just so you can catch that man changing, getting in the shower, getting naked, which I had to cover, by the way. All for what? So you could make fun of that man, shame him, post it on social media, get a few laughs and some likes and attention? Really? Well, not only is that disrespectful to that man, but let me inform you of something. It's also illegal. Yeah, very illegal. It's like releasing some, like, explicit pictures of someone without their permission and posting them publicly, right? It's very illegal. You can get arrested for it, and for some reason, they find it funny. But you get the gist of the type of content Joey Swole does. He sticks up for people, and I really like his videos. But one in particular recently has gained a lot more traction than the others, which we're going to get into. Okay, so it's this woman here who's filming this kid. Saying me on Monday morning. Just kind of take the piss out of him. I'm very the arrogant laugh as you film that kid to make fun of him is so sad, so disappointing to see. I just don't get people who do this. Like, how are you going to be in the middle of your workout, see someone who's maybe not doing an exercise correctly, and then whack out your phone and post it publicly just to insult them? Like, what is going on here? And as he's about to mention, this woman in particular is a professional athlete. She's a pro swimmer, right? And she's posted this video as if she wasn't in this kid's position one time where she didn't know what she was doing and she didn't know how exercises worked. Instead, she decided to just kind of take the piss when realistically she should be knowing better. Professional athlete, you should know better. And I DM'd you to tell you that and ask you if you think that you're better than people and you can do as you please because you're a professional athlete. Your response? Yep, to lighten up. Fucking hell, right? Let's go through these messages dead quick. Right, so Joey replied to a story and said, professional athlete and you don't know better than to film someone to make fun of them on social media. And then she said, lighten up which is a very classy response. And by the way, before we even get into a response, as I'm like sarcastically saying this is classy, one thing that actually is a bit of a class act move is the fact that Joey Swole like messaged her first of all and said like, look, this is out of order. What are you doing here? Before calling her out publicly. So at that point she could have owned up and said, oh yeah, that is a bit shitty of me and deleted the post. But instead she decided to kind of just, I don't know, have a bit of a weird attitude about it. But Joey replied to him, lighten up. So you think it's okay to film people at the gym and make fun of them on social media as if you're better than them? Got it. And then she replied, Replied saying, yeah, people are funny, especially kids, and I love to people watch, and this makes my day. Not exactly the most likable person in the world, is she? Newsflash, being a professional athlete doesn't make you better than anybody or give you the right to treat people like this. You need to do better. Mind your own business. I mean, yeah, it's as simple as that, right? You're at the gym, you're all trying to exercise, you're all trying to better yourselves. Mind your business. Very, very simple. And the reason why I like these videos so much is because a lot of people are scared to go to the gym, right? In case they're going to be judged when, in actual reality, most times you're not. 99% of the time you're not. Just the 1% of the time you might come across someone like this who ruins it for the rest. Now, the reason why this video has gained a lot more traction than the others is because of the response. Because this pro athlete has decided to comment on this video saying, bro, you owe me money for the content. Clearly, she's just trying to take the piss at this point and she doesn't 
doesn't want to own up to it. And I mean, she really does make it seem as if she does think she's better than other people, which is a shame. And she ended up posting a bunch more stories, kind of just taking the piss out of this whole situation until like the comments got too much. And then she came with like a full essay response. I've decided to comment on the matter that has been bothering people a lot. So here we go. People want to hate and they just want to be guided where to spread their hate. And that was on me. I mean, this is already an awful response, isn't it? I hate it when people have to like own up to something they've done that is shitty. But instead of doing that, they say, oh, people are just haters. Like this is more on them than it is on me. When obviously if you didn't do what you did, you wouldn't be receiving the, the hate. You know, it's, it's a very simple concept. I know the kid and he's the funniest guy ever not giving a fuck when his coach is not looking. He didn't need any of my help because he's in the swimming group of other kids and a coach and he knows how to do the exercise properly. He is not disabled or sick. He is just a kid. Yeah, I think some people are just trying to like jump to conclusions and stuff and just making up stories for the kid, which I mean, she's saying isn't true. I don't know. And she's also saying she knows the kid, which a lot of people don't seem to believe because she obviously went on to like take the piss out of the situation for a lot longer before she released this statement. And from the comments I've seen, people just keep saying, well, I mean, if you did know the kid all along, why would you not just say that? I mean, yeah, it might be a kid who's in a swimming group. I mean, she's a pro swimmer, right? They might go to the same facility, but it is a kid at the end of the day. She might know him, she might not, but uh, yeah, it just all seems a bit weird with the timing. I posted a video of a caption, me on Monday morning, saying that I'm like this kid because I adore his I'm tired and I don't give a fuck energy and even in the video itself saying I love him. I mean, that's not really how the video came across to me personally. I mean, she even said in the messages to Joey that she just likes people watching and like laughing at people. That was her own words. So it doesn't really give the same energy as this. As I adore his I don't give a fuck energy, I'm definitely not giving a fuck about what people are saying about me, which I mean, you kind of do because you're writing an essay about it. If you have problems going to a gym and fear of being judged, you'll be judged even if you're not filmed by someone. So stay at home or make yourself not care about what people might say or think about you and go do whatever you want freely. I mean, that's a horrible way to look at it. You actually won't get judged if you go to the gym, by the way. Genuinely, people mind their own business. They put headphones in, they just literally focus on themselves and don't really have a care in the world for what's going on around them. But I guess because this woman has the mindset of like judging people, she thinks it's normal, which in actual reality, it's really not. Like I think just speaking from personal experience, not exactly a gym lad by any means. I mean, can you not tell? <laughs> but I do go. And I remember when I first started going, people would help you out of exercises. Like if you're doing something wrong, people would give you advice and whatnot. Like people are very nice there, but unfortunately the odd few do it ruin it. She also went on to give more statements about this whole situation and said, I on purpose am not deleting comments and not making my page private because I believe that people can express whatever they want. It just shows who they truly are. Unfortunately, 99% of people are not only crazy, but stupid thinking the blogger who posts the video is really trying to do something good between selling his gym programs. Now, obviously, he's just talking about Joey here and saying that he has, like, different motives behind his videos, and who knows if that's true, but one thing that definitely is true is whatever he's doing is doing good, because he gets millions of views in his videos, he's calling out people who just try to take the piss out of other people who are trying to better themselves, and because of that, less people are going to carry on with that behaviour because they can see at first hand that it's not right. But yeah, of course, she's going to try and make him look like the monster here, which is a, an interesting take. 99% of his followers are toxic humans waiting for a command from him to splash out all the poison they have without using their brains and thinking if someone actually did something wrong or not. Yet again, a very interesting take to call people who don't want to see just innocent people getting taken a piss out of, like on camera, posted publicly for millions to laugh at. You're calling them people who don't want that to happen toxic humans, was it? Yeah? With a splash of poison? I mean, yeah, a very, very interesting take. He was threatening me to delete the video so no one will see it and then posted it so more than 3 million people saw it. If he truly had good intentions and thought I did something wrong, he would have excluded the video so no one will see it. Yet again, a fucking stupid take. I'm really trying to wrap my brain cells together to try and like work out what she's going on about here because this is a very moronic take. But so what she's saying here is that Joey should have just cut out the video and just described it. I mean, that's not really how it works. It wouldn't have the same effect in the slightest. He's showing people what not to do. I mean, if he posts the video to laugh at it and say, oh, this is a really funny piece of content, then obviously that would be dodgy. But he's calling it out. So I don't get what you're trying to say. As I said, I love to people watch and it was an amazing journey for me to people watch this craziness. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to make sense of that. I, I am starting to lose my mind a little bit here. I don't really know what's going on. I don't owe an apology to anyone because I didn't do anything wrong. On the other hand, people call the kid disabled and whatever, so make your mind around that. Yeah, I don't know too much about this, like, cold situation here. I know Joey didn't mention anything like that in his videos. Maybe some people will try and make stuff up in the comments because some people in the comments are a bit stupid and they will just jump to conclusions. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what she means there. The kid is happy. I'm happy. If you're not happy, write a comment, but don't think anyone cares. I mean, clearly you care. Very 
very much so, because you've written a fucking Bible-length essay about, like, how bad this is. So, I mean, if anyone does care, it's definitely you. People overexceed the importance of social media in their lives. It doesn't matter that much. Live your life. It's nonsense to me that I even have to explain such obvious things. And lighten up, because life is about being happy and not taking yourself too seriously. Yeah, clearly not the greatest statement I've ever seen in my life. And if we look at the comments here, people seem to disagree as well. Someone said, dislike button, you need to do better, mind your business. Judging from the comments, people do not agree with you. Nobody gives a fuck that you know him, you still post him laughing on social media. She skips brain day for sure. Yeah, so people aren't buying her a, a, a statement. I was gonna say apology, definitely wasn't an apology. It's good to see, I mean, if you're in the gym, like I said, just mind your own business. I know that's very common knowledge for 99% of people, because 99% of people do actually just mind their own business. But unfortunately, there's an odd few that don't. And hopefully these type of videos will stop people just kind of taking the piss out of others in the gym, especially when you're a professional athlete. I mean, it's your job at the end of the day. Like, surely you should be setting a good example. But yeah, I just wanted to cover this because I saw it going massive on Instagram. I saw a few of like commentary YouTubers talking about it as well. And I think it's definitely worth showing because as much as a lot of people have very different opinions, it's nice to see that the vast majority of people do agree with this, that it is wrong to just kind of take the piss out of people at the gym because it doesn't seem like we can agree on much like nowadays, but this is definitely one of them things we can. But either way, I would love to know your opinion on everything we spoke about in today's video. If you did enjoy, please do a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. We're even closer to hitting 400k by the time this video goes up. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, good. Bye.